Granddaddy got a good bite. Look at you. Look at you. You see how I'm talking to him? Mm -hmm. I'm keeping him engaged. Yeah! 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 He looked towards it. <laughs> Did not face him. What is going on, everyone? Check this out. Look at all the green plants behind me. They grew. They're grapes. They're going to be big grapes. In about a month, they're going to be huge grapes. Anyway, this video is going to be about um, protection dog training. And it's going to involve a 12-week-old uh, uh, Belgian Malinois. Now, for all the people who contact us and ask us how much training is and all this other crazy stuff, if you can't watch this video, stop calling people asking them about protection training because this is important. One of my dog trainers has a Belgian Malinois. And he's, he's going to get him going in protection trader later on. So we did this video so you guys can see about drive, genetics, and uh, desire, and prey. All that gets the bite, gripping, fear, anger, all these things. I'm going to put I'm gonna put this dog through all these things. It's Belgian Malawa. He's bred for this. Now, remember what I said. He's bred for this. So that's where we start at, his genetics. Then we'll move on to how he's being raised, right? If he's raised properly, this dog is going to be amazing. So, again, if you're into protection dog training, you're thinking about getting into it, and you're about to go out and see a protection dog trainer, go ahead and see this video. Because if your protection dog trainer is only into defensive drive, then you're going to see something totally different. You won't see this. This we normally see with um, sport dogs and working dogs. Uh, protection dogs, you don't see this with... Um, what you're going to see from someone else is probably going to be something you're going to see with police canines and uh, things like that. So it's all about how you start and how you finish on both ends. So you guys stay tuned. Watch this stuff go down. to get him i want his mind to get tricked into playing gotcha because when we start training with him it's going to be a game and you're going to see exactly what i mean real quick so it's going to be a game so as soon as i lock him in on these treats i'm going to have him do some place real quick <laughs> right as soon as i hit that pouch he's like a a belgium a, a bengal a cat as soon as i hit that because every time she hears you see him he's like going crazy <laughs> right? he's, going right? he's going crazy place the boy right so I just want to lock him in. I actually don't need to meet this leash. Up. Sit. Because a puppy is the easiest thing to put off the leash. You can leave right there. We're going to put him back on the leash. Here. Come on. Place. Come on. Place. All that cool stuff, Will, you want to do with him, like tight rope and stuff. That's where it starts at. If you try to show it to him when he's like, uh, I don't know, six months old, you're not going to get it. You're going to start it here. Come here. And I got a, I got a agility thing that I'll show you real quick. Back. We'll go over there. So I want to put him here. Sit. Down. Now he knows me and him are playing a game. We're playing a good game right now, right? So now it's my set. Because you're going to start protecting dogs, especially if you want to start doing uh, bike development with a puppy. It has to be fun. I don't want to do it. Here, place. Sit. The boy. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and he's literally, he's excited, right? Now I've changed his mind, right? Because he's moving now. He's, he's not, he's, yeah. oh. <laughs> you can hear his little teeth. You hear him, you hear him chomping? Yeah, <laughs> he's smacking down. <laughs> yeah. get those things. Right? So all I'm doing is mentally setting him up for the game, right? That we're about to play. Yes, good boy. You knocked it out of my hand with your paw. 
house is right here. He literally went, oop, it went down. Right? Place. Place. Sit. He already knows the place. Sit. Boom. So we've locked him into the game. Now we're about to go do some protection. Easy peasy. I can find a million protection dog trainers, and there will be none of them. They'll take him in the yard and start whipping a whip and yelling at him and making a bark. All right. Come on. He's like, I am we we don't want to be yoking his neck around because it's gonna it's going to uh, eventually make him not want to do bite work. We want them to pull. We want them to bite. We want them to be reactive, right? That's what we want. All that stuff, right? That's what his drive is about. He don't know that. I got me a belt to mellow. I don't do a protection duel with him now. Now he's like you know pulling on. Yeah, we want that, right? So <laughs> here you go. Take clip it to his harness right here. Right. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna slowly. Well, try to pull. Right. I'm gonna slowly start to activate. And I know he's smelling the grass. We cut it yesterday. So he smells that grass. Uh, he loves tug. Right. So we're activating. Right. Now I want you to hold that leash. Good boy. Yes. Oh. 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 Yes. Good boy, good boy, oh, good boy, good boy, oh, now you you hold still, there you go, right there, right, yeah, good boy, he loves that. <laughs> yeah, right, so I want him, keep, keep, bring him over, keep him on the grass, all right, there you go, good boy, and while he's biting it, oh, yeah, oh, good boy, yeah, good boy, what am I doing, I'm calming it down, make that fun for him, yeah, hey, you see that bottle on there, you hear yeah. all that noise, right, Agitate. Him. Agitate. It makes him want to bite it more. Good boy. <laughs> All right, you stand go. still. There you go, right? <laughs> he he's, go. he's holding that grip, right? Good boy. He's now like, I want to agitate him now. Teeth. Remember, this is so important. You got to stay still. <laughs> you can't move, Will, all right? Okay. I need as much tension on that line as possible. Oh, good boy. Oh, good boy. Oh, good boy. Oh, good boy. Oh, oh, he caught it going down, right? Come on. There you go. Let go of the leash, brother. There you go. Come on. So put him in front of you. Come. Hey. Sit. Sit. Have the sit. So I'll hold him right there. Do not let him move. I'm going to toss this around in front of him. And this will activate his prey. And then once I tell you to, you got to let, let him loose. What I want him doing is I want him actually barking high pitch. Okay. This is activating his drive to want to bite this. I want to frustrate him. Right. Oh, good boy. Good boy. He can't get to it. Oh, good boy. You look a boy. Oh, good boy. Oh, good boy. Oh, good boy. Ooh. Oh, good boy. Oh, oh, you almost got it. You almost got it. Good boy, good boy, good boy. You almost got it. You almost got it. You almost got it. Oh, good boy. Oh, good boy. Good boy. You can get it. You have to get it. Oh, good boy. You get it. You get it. You get it. Oh, he just can't get it, right? <laughs> oh, good boy. Oh, that's a good boy. Oh, good boy. Oh, good boy. Oh, oh. Oh, oh yeah oh yeah oh yeah now l release that hand oh yeah oh yeah I'm gonna slowly start letting it slide through your hand there you go oh yeah good boy oh yeah oh, look at you look at you oh, oh, yeah. I heard that I heard that oh 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 good now you see I got a full bite Oh, 
Ooga boy. Oh yeah. Oh, you're a good boy. You're a good boy. Oh, look at that. You got that full bite. Your daddy must got a full bite. Your granddaddy got a good bite. Look at you. Look at you. You see how I'm talking to him? Mm -hmm. I'm keeping him engaged. Yeah. 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 Ooh. Oh. Oh. You like that? Oh. He said, gripping my leg. Oh, yeah. Good boy. I'll have him biting a full bite sleeve in a minute. Oh, good boy. Oh, good boy. Oh, yeah. Is that yours? Is that yours? Oh, good boy. <laughs> he loves so I thing. gave it to him. So he won. Let it stay in his mouth. The reason why you're going to let it stay in his mouth is because this is called resource guarding. Okay. So that's he, a good thing in protection. Yeah. That's what everything you know about pet dogs, it's we do in protection dogs, right? Okay. Right? So I take it from him. Hold him? Hold him. Oh, good boy. Now, I don't want to uh, pull his teeth too hard because he's a puppy. I don't want to yank him out, right? I'm surprised he hold on that, right. that good with puppy teeth. Look at that. So I don't want to, I don't want to do too much because he's young, right? You normally want to get, you'll start to get more pressure. You can see right here in him. He's got it in his mouth. Now, if I want to push it in there, good boy, see? And this is why I want to do this. I'm calming him down. Right? I'm calming so him. So he won't react to you? No, so that, because, all right, hold this. I'll show you. Release that bite, right? So I want to stroke him like this. Right? Okay. Right? So when he's an adult dog, and I'm running with him doing like this, guess what's gonna happen? He's not gonna release, he's not gonna he be, gonna be his own then. Right. So you see it right there, right? And you just do it by his ears. They're Good bent boy. Back. Yeah. He get used to the noise, right? So whenever he hears this noise in the future, he's gonna start barking. And now we can teach him to bark on command, right? At least 50% of the people who have claimed their trained protection dogs or protection dogs are being trained never see an agitation stick, right? And then you bring your dog to me, and I pull out an agitation stick, and they run the other way, as soon as they hear the noise. Gotcha. Right? So I'm gonna, I'm gonna get this back, cause he's a puppy. Ah, good boy. He's got a strong grip. I see. Ah, ah, good boy. Good boy. Boy, you got some freaking. You see how you like? I got him let go, right? <laughs> So there you go. Right, right, right. So we're this is called bite development. This is how we're building this drive to bite different stuff, right? So Sit. now that you got him on that, we're gonna Sit. we're gonna put him on something else. Sit. You'll see how we just train. Kill. So this is a puppy sleeve. Sit. Sit. All right. Yes. This is a puppy sleeve. Probably for a puppy, I would say in my opinion, for a six month old. Okay. Right. Probably a little too big for him. If he hits this, you're in trouble. If he goes on this, you're in, you're in trouble. All right, you're gonna have a hitter. All right, so same Sit. thing. So give him a little a little room, about right there, because I need him. I, I'm gonna I'm gonna start moving, okay. and I need him to follow, follow me you. when I start chasing him. So just hold him. Yeah, just hold him. But uh, yeah, give him about that room. I need him to run around. Woo! Good boy. Woo! Woo! Bring him back over here once he stopped peeing. Come on, buddy. Addis! 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 Woo! Woo! Addis! Addis! Woo! 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 Oh! Almost! Almost! Woo! 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 Oh, boy! Almost! Woo! Ooh, oh, 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 he's trying to get a grip. Ooh, he's holding a grip. grip. There you go. He's punching in. And that right there cannot be taught. You could try to. That's genetics right there. Ooh, ooh. Oh, you see, he's trying to find his grip. But what I'm not going to let him do is bite here and here. I'm going to keep him center. Because that's the easy area? No. First off, this is where he's supposed to be biting. Dogs that bite here, when they start biting you, they chump down to your hand oh, when okay. you're in a bite suit. Gotcha. So you don't even want to teach that crap. So as the dog bites you there, if you're teaching a dog, you immediately want to stop. Okay. So this is like uh, getting him used to hitting your forearm right now. Correct. 
Uh, you see a lot of police dogs, they type right down to the hand because they just grab an officer and say, get in a bite suit. He doesn't know how to, Yeah. you know what I mean? Oh, Ooh. oh, Ooh. oh, good boy. Ooh. Oh, good boy. Oh, yeah. And I can start working on that full grip now because you see how big this is? Mm -hmm. I can start pulling on that full grip and I'm gonna push it in his mouth. And he's getting tired, you got tired. I knew I got you before you burnt out though. I got All right, watch what he does when I do this. Look at you, <laughs> yeah, you just look around. He ain't running. <laughs> he ain't running. Yeah, like it don't bother him. All nope. of them get mad. <laughs> Nerves, right? Come on. Hey, blink. That's a good sign. He didn't do anything. Right? So, so that's your sign. Just like tuck down and run? To tuck and run. And all he did was back up. So now we're going to do this. He loves that. One. Oh, yeah. Oh, good boy. Good boy. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, good boy. Good boy. Yeah, look at that. Yeah. And this is the game you and him could play. He can't never bite you. He can only bite someone else. Because once he starts biting you, the respect is gone. Gotcha. All right. And I'm going to show you why I just did this. Good boy. Come on. Right. If you were, per se going to train a protection dog is probably the first thing you would do before anything because this is the last thing and run to... this is the last thing you're going to do yeah you know what i mean so if you don't do this and you wait until the last thing and the dog is scared of it it was all for nothing so i'm going to let him do whatever he's doing yeah kennel was going to go nuts you hear me they're not scared of blake fire so whatever he's doing i'm going to let him do it i'm not going to have him doing anything specific and then you watch his body language when i shoot it just let him go? No, just let him like, keep him on leash. Come here, buddy. Come on. He looked towards it. <laughs> did not face him. All he did was shake his head. So yes, you have a 100% protection dog that you could have trained in protection <laughs> all the way to the end. Come here, buddy. Because when he gets to that level of protection, it's not gonna phase him. It's the first time he heard that that close. And then you go, good boy, good boy. Immediately I wanna reward him with some treats. He did really good, right? I don't even want him thinking about that gunfire. It didn't phase him. Now later on, I can tell you later on, it might make him angry. It's not gonna make him scared. It's gonna. They try to break out. Right. Your dogs probably hate fireworks. But they hate it to where they would uh, they would mess you up if you were I'm around. Going yeah. Really? Fear, fear Here. Good boy. Here. Yeah, good boy. I'm just getting his mind off of it, right? So we're gonna do one more thing. Bring him over here. Come. I, I know you're into the amazing Malawa, right? <laughs> I know you're into that. Well, let's find out today. So I want to need you to put him on the front. And I'm going to lure him and see how his balance is. Oh. So this is going to start to swing when he's up there. Now, if you want, you can take him off the leash while you do it. Come here, buddy. So he has full control. There you go. You have him balanced. You got to stand up, buddy. Put your feet on there. Looks harder than it does on TV, doesn't it? There you go. There you go. So if he does it a couple times and you practice on it, he'll be able to do it. Come here. Come on. Come on. Come on, buddy. Come on. Come on. Yeah. Good boy. Yes. Good boy. I know you should do it. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Alice, come here. He's like, I want to go back. Right? <laughs> come here, Alice. Don't run, man. Don't run. I got you. Come on. I got you, bro. Come on. So you trying to put me in the tire? <laughs> yep. 
Oh, you get him to walk around the edge? Yeah. Come on. Good boy. Yes, good boy. Yeah, that's a good boy. There you go. <laughs> Look, now he's walking. <laughs> now he's just staying. What is he waiting? Now he's walking around the head. Come on. <laughs> he's like, I'll do it. It wasn't way. gonna be easy as you thought. Atlas, come here. Good boy. Yes. Sit. Wow. Good boy. All right. Well, what questions do you have for me? I don't really have off the top of my head. So, do you, I mean, as far as, did you think that starting a puppy in a protection would be like this or be like some madman or something? Uh, I don't know. I kind of picture it as like, oh, somebody like just like barking terrifying and, and be like, oh, he's barking or yeah. and then just let him go. And you can do it that way. I'm not saying you can't do it that way. I'm just saying I don't do it that way, mm -hmm. right? Because I need him thinking when he's biting. All right. Not just blind. No, not just. They black out. They literally black out. And next thing you know, you're trying to grab them, and they turn around and bite you. So the last thing we're going to do, let's check on fear. So go ahead and click them on that. And I'm going to stop. He's like, I'll smile for the camera. <laughs> You hiding behind me for? There you go. There there you go. I feel confident when I'm behind you. <laughs> he's a terrible dog. He's so mean. He's so oh, Malamas are aggressive. Yeah, he's so aggressive. You That's know. what my roommate said. They're like terrified for me to get him. Oh, 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 oh. What I got? What I got? What I got? What I got? I got one more thing for you, Atlas. One more thing I'm going to do. I want to show Will something. Will just realized you're a really smart dog. <laughs> hold on. Hold him right there, Will. Come. Atlas, up. Come on, you do it all the time. Come on, up. He's like, nah, man, I'm tired. Come here, buddy. We got this. Come here, Atlas. Oh, you think he'll push a button? He just did. It. Huh? He just did it with his nose. Good boy. <laughs> He's like, I'm sitting there. <laughs> Your boy. So every single dog that starts pushing buttons, they do it different. Every single one. Some use their paw, some use their nose, some just step on it. He said he jumped at it, he was gonna do it. Alice, here. And normally what you wanna do, especially if you wanna do this at home, sure. did you wanna take this home and work with them? Sure. It's a trick. Um, it's a good trick. Dogs will do good things. Treat. So, easier way is to take that treat. You can stick it under there. And what he's going to do is he's going to paw at it until it says treat. The minute it says treat, you give him the treat. But you don't want it in your hand. You want to know it's there.
The only thing I want him to do is to part it. You said it? You started to. Yeah, you see it? And so you'll do this probably for about 15, 20 minutes. Be patient. The minute he hits it with his paw, you're going to jam and treat it in his mouth. And he'll learn quick. And he'll learn quick. And then what he's going to do is he's going to keep touching it for you to keep giving him the treat. He's tired. Yeah, he's tired. <laughs> and that's it. The first time he does it, if you get the treat in his mouth within two seconds, he'll keep punching. He'll keep punching. Keep punching. That's, that's your little homework. <laughs> right. Get the dog to paw that thing. Yep. That's when is first. this due by? When's the next day you're off? Huh? When's the next day you're off? Tuesday. 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 <laughs> Normally it takes us about 20, 30 minutes to get him to do it. Like uh, consistently? Yeah. So in the other, I'm just, just one way you could put it under there and make him paw at it. Mm -hmm. The other way you could teach him to paw. And then once he starts pawing you every time you put your hand up there, then put the button in your hand. Okay. And then he'll touch the paw. And as soon as he touches the paw, it will treat. Give him the treat. Keep doing that for about 15 minutes, then put it on the ground. And then he'll start tapping it himself. What's the best way that you suggest doing it? Uh, I like to use it underneath. Actually, I like to get so like a... smell it? Okay. So I, what I do is I... You see it? Now you see he's touching my hand. He keeps touching my hand with his paw. See? Mm hmm He's frustrated. See, he keeps touching my hand. Here, you wanna step on it? I could try to do it this way. I've never done it that way. Almost, buddy. Here. He's like, I'm sick. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I'm about to lay down. <laughs> He's like, I'm, I'm trying. Right. But what you can do, if you do it this way and he paws your hand, the minute he paws your hand, you can just give it to him. Okay. All right? So then he learns it. He's learning that every time he uses that paw, he gets it. Right? <laughs> <laughs> He's just trying to get a shade. Yeah. And this is a patient game, but after he does it the first time, it's downhill. So what, is it, what does that teach them? It's just so teaching like, your dog to communicate with you, okay. number one, right? What if you have 15 of these and he had them all lined up and then he's like, They hey, would be able to tell the difference between multiple? Yeah, they turn to the colors. Oh, okay. So that he could be like, hey, motherfucker, I want to go outside. <laughs> okay. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> hey, it's, it's time to eat, man. Where's my food, right? Yeah. So now would you want to talk to your dog? Yeah. You know what I mean? What you want, buddy? He runs in the kitchen, has a bit. treat. You right? Oh, he wants some treats. Gotcha. Outside, potty. You know what I mean? He gonna start talking to you. It's a fun trick between you and him. Okay. You know what I mean, it's, I mean, some people use it for service dog for their dog to to talk, like say if medical. I don't even know what this stuff smells like. No, you can smell it. This is marijuana. <laughs> by the collar. Tell what I'm not doing is hiding it from him. Let him see what I'm doing, right? Uh -huh. Now let him go.
water or two. Yeah, he's tired, but he came here. But what I would do, say for instance, we're doing tracking. I'm gonna use that ball. I'm gonna use that motor. I'm gonna have him running around looking for it. And every time he finds it, he's gonna get a reward. It could be him biting a bike sleeve. Get him get his, uh, another toy. So you use different like. Uh... I jump out the car with my police dog, and I need him hyped up to go through this this search, right? Because once he does this game once. And then if the game is super fun for him, he's gonna want to do it a million times, right? Yeah. And I go and I and I get him biting this right here, and I get him hyped up, and I say, oh, let's go find it, let's go find it, let's go find it. He's going to know the game. He's gonna go find it, right? Right? And in every game you want him to win. Come here. See how he jumped in there now? Before he didn't want to go in that tire. Good boy. Good boy. Where is it? 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 Right? Now he'll go on that tire, right? Because your search and rescue dogs, your, your tracking dogs, they need to be able to climb up on all this crap to find what they're looking for, right? He found it. Now he's got it, right? He's got now it in his mouth. He can get it out. <laughs> now he won, right? He's retaining it. I think. Atlas! Good boy! Now I want to start this game by every time he goes to look for it, it's not in there. Mm -hmm. Find it. Find it. Yeah. 